Hi, it's 975 and welcome to PUBG on the Xbox. And today I thought I'd bring you two games spliced into one. So, there was one game in which I ran around like a lunatic and didn't find anyone really. And the other game in which I just headed to the center of the zone and camped up and found a lot of bots. So, yeah, some really dodgy shooting in this one as well. But, overall, I had a lot of fun in both these games and they were back to back and completely different and had some players um, certainly in the Erangel one it was a uh, very hit and miss and I think I only came across one maybe two players uh, in the other one I know it was at least two um, you know usually the last guy left is always a player that's definitely not a player that's definitely moving like a bot and this one coming up on the Erangel map um, I think that's. I'm not sure. <laughs> that's definitely. Um, that's definitely a bot. Looks like a bot. Moves like a bot. Has the dash in his name. So that's a bot. You know. Uh, this one. Uh, yeah, until the names come up, some of them I'm unsure. But if it moves like that, backwards and forwards, jiggling around, you know, it's generally a bot. But sometimes you get players that do that sort of shit as well. Uh, you know, some names are clearer than others, and. Like I said, it's not always 100% certain that something's a bot or not. Um, it's always fun when you're like running at someone because you think, ah, it's a bot, and then it throws a grenade at you and like, it's probably not now. Um, but it's so unclear and all, it's always hard to be sure. So you just have to play the game as it presents itself and just do what you can. Um, there's nothing you can do as a player about the number of bots you run into in a game. All you can do is focus on trying to get to the final circle and trying to get to the end of the game and be the one player that's left um, you know and as you get to the sharp end of the game you're more likely to run into players not always but that's just generally how it goes you know um, I gotta say the weird polar bears running around on this map worries me it's um yeah it freaks me out it's a bit weird but yeah you can see this guy no idea not a clue um, you know until I kill him and then I'm thinking that actually is probably a player uh, name doesn't look like a bot. This one I can say for certain was a player because we spaffed. Um, I hit the banister. He doesn't hit anything. We both waste the mag each, and then I just rush him. Um, but definitely, this was a person. We both sound the shit out of each other. He knew I was up here, but I managed to get him to back down enough that I could get down the stairs, around the corner, and shoot him in the face. Uh, so, yeah, the one with the most aggression normally wins those sort of scenarios. That's generally how I find it. You know, the, the one that really pushes the situation and goes for it is generally the one that will come out on top. Um, not always, but you know, that's just the way it seems to be. Uh, you know, sitting there and being patient and not attacking is not the best. Now in this game, I've kind of got the easy button finish on tap because I'm a assault rifle shotgun and because I got a suppressor and, uh, you know, it's quite easy to just chip away at people that don't even know where you are. It's not quite a BSS, but you know, it's decent enough that they're never going to work out where I am that easily. Um, and being able to just pick a few people off and uh, keep things interesting and get to the final end zone, you know, is all I need to do. And then I've got a shotgun to get in close and just one tap somebody. Not a lot they can do about it. It's one of the most frustrating weapons in the game. People do get narky with you and you occasionally get messages from people when you get them with shotguns, in late game especially, people get very upset by it. I've never understood it as to why. The shotgun is, it's not totally balanced. Well, I think it's pretty balanced in the game considering uh, some of the submachine guns that are available and how quick some stuff kills you. I don't think the shotgun is that overpowered. Um, that's terrible shooting. That We'll mark that one down as awful, but you know. Sometimes I get carried away and you know hold the trigger down too long, and it's uh, yeah surprising how bouncy some of the guns are in this game. And controlling recoil is a huge factor in um, shooters. And you know I'm oddly more comfortable with certain guns. I don't use the M4 that much, 
Um, I should because it is very very good but I don't use it as much as I should do uh, but yeah in this game I wanted to have the shotgun so it means you kind of have to take a really good you know main weapon um, if you're gonna keep a shotgun till late game you need something that can do everything and uh, yeah the M4 can pick people off a distance is pretty decent up close and uh, yeah is good in also and single shot so it's a pretty solid weapon and uh, yeah I had a lot of fun running around in this game and the final guy is definitely not a bot and I'll leave you with the surprise ending of the other game um, as that plays out and I'll say that's all thank you very much for watching um, a couple of you know okay back-to-back -back games with a decent number of kills in them Anyway, that's all for me talking. Enjoy these finishes, and I'll say that's all. Thank you very much for watching.